If you've ever wanted to add remote control functions to any of your little projects, whether they're 3D printed or converting, who knows, some other toy to remote control, I've uh, found for over 17 years one of the best ways to do it is to uh, get the little tabletop remote control toys, whether they're the little tanks or the little cars, and you can repackage uh, their remote like I have in this one in a 3D branded case. There's the drone project which I put up on Thingiverse last year which a lot of people have built. You could easily make it a remote control action and also get the bright white light and I added a, a beep, beep sounder for when it walks in reverse. So when here's in forward and of course you can push this button and make it go backwards. If you don't like the tone, they sell different types of tone modules. There's ones that beep, there's ones that chime. You could actually put in a greeting card module and have your own recorded sound effect play in there. That's not a problem. Um, or you could add more lights to it. I'm only using one of the two channels that comes with these car things, and I'll get into that more. But the, the main thing about these that makes them so nice is the super low cost and the fact that you have two complete channels and each channel can actually be used to control four things there's a, a voltage regulator that steps up the voltage in there so even if you are running on a single AA battery which you can do I'm running on two in here but it'll work on one it'll boost the voltage up enough to light uh, the two LEDs I just took one of the LEDs out of the car's headlight and put it in there for that bright white one as you can see but there are two of them, so you could put another light somewhere else. And there's also a red one in the back that you could put somewhere on the robot that only lights when it walks in reverse. Then normally there'd be two more buttons over here for steering left and right. And they're actually the same as the ones that are driving the motor. In the car they drive a coil and change polarity. But if you hooked a motor up to them, then you could run a motor forward or backward like we're doing with the walking action here. And of course you don't have to use a motor if you hooked LEDs up to where the motors are, since LEDs are a diode, then one LED would light up in the forward mode and one LED would light up in the reverse mode and the same would be turning with the turn left, turn right one. So you could actually have four channel controls of triggering things. So you get an awful lot of electronics besides the remote control, digital control, the tracks, the I mean the channels and uh, the LED drivers all that stuff for less than eight dollars shipped to your house then you just tear it apart and of course that's what it looks like when you tear one apart let's see there's a close-up of the circuit board <clears throat> and before you take it all apart you can mark down you know what everything is where everything goes what wires go or what that's what it looks like there's the back side of it, they are marked, it's always a good idea to mark your project what frequency is in case you break the remote or lose it, you can always buy another toy with a similar frequency. Here you can see the H bridge drivers. There's the front, uh, front side again. Actually you've got, this is your battery negative, this is your battery positive. These two points could go to two LEDs, the anode side, the cathode side of the LEDs would come back to here. This normally would go to the steering, but this could go to another motor, those two leads. These two leads, and as they come in the toy, go to the uh, um, to the rear wheel driver motor. These two leads uh, go off to a red LED that only lies up when it's in reverse, and this is the antenna wire. So here's inside the uh, project. If any of you have already built uh, my little drone number four that I put up on Thingiverse, using the motor and everything that's in there. That's the little beeper sounder. But here's why I placed the board. I just ran the wires up to one of the white LEDs that came with it and uh, brought the motor right in like I explained right there. In fact, I hooked the beeper just up to where the red LED would have been on the back. So that's why it, the beeper turns on when it's uh, in reverse. But you could do more to it. I just went real basic so I could make the robot walk forward and backward and have a bright lit light. And it's all operating off of uh, two pen light batteries. And here's uh, what it would look like if you left the remote as it comes in the package. In this case I wasn't using the two steering ones over here. So what I end up doing is just cutting that off with whatever type of hobby saw you might have. I had a bandsaw so I just ran it through the bandsaw. And I uh, 3D printed a, a smaller case for it. 
this case right here and keep these two buttons here's where I just sawed this off which went right through it after the battery box kept the battery box of course and then you can just glue the what's left of that one will push straight down into the new case and I think I'll put the new case up I'll add it to the Thingiverse files on my for the project for the drone robot and there it is complete but you just saw it run on the video so we don't need to look at that much um, as far as buying the little remote control cards I find it cheapest on eBay for example I just put in mini uh, mini RC cars or mini cars RC and they'll always pop up a lot of the sellers call them coke can cars because they come in this little plastic coke can but uh, this is a pretty good example about seven dollars and ninety cents and that's with free shipping and even though they're made in China this is from a seller that's uh, in California that way I can get them within one or you know two days normally maybe three on, on a bad shipping day but it's very inexpensive gives you all kinds of control I've used them in projects for over 17 years um, last year or was it the year before I when I did my little Nando project I used this basically the same case but with a different uh, emblem on it to control the little Nando robot to make it walk forward and also to light up its eyes and all that it's because it was such a small robot and of course you can find this video on my uh, Robot Hut channel I'll, I'll put a link in down below and let's see what was the next one oh, I also did the radio police project this robot I used all four of the functions because the robot could walk I could turn on the, uh, the spinner blades the eyes could light and in this one I did use the sound card from uh, well the greeting card type sound card you can buy them on eBay for under two dollars and just modified it so that I could trigger it with the unit so it would give my police warning sound as the robots advancing with the spinning arms grazer arms and the lit up eyes and this so that's another example of what you can use it for Anyway, hope you enjoy. If you guys end up building any of them, uh, making them radio control, leave a comment down below. Originally I made this project so it would be something really easy for people to print that wanted to make a toy that could walk. This is a, a very old way of walking. It's called Clawfoot. And it's very simple, easy project, and easy to mod. So you can do all kinds of modifications to it.